Right, hello and good day everyone. Welcome back. It is Tuesday, June 22nd. Uh, today I'm going to be going through the latest on the on the Bitcoin uh, Bitcoin chart. Uh, I want to introduce some ICT concepts again. Um, show them how they play out here in real time. Just um, dive into the market structure, dive into the daily bias here a little bit. Um, I'll sort of pick apart uh, what's been happening and just uh, maybe provide some streamlined logic and uh, hopefully yeah, hopefully everyone enjoys okay so the first thing I want to point out here is this range this this upwards trend we had from the midnight open right we had this upward trend come into the high at five o'clock in the morning okay so we use this as our range. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we can uh, um, implement the idea of internal versus external range liquidity, and we're going to just show how that's going to play out. So what I mean is, from this low to this high, the top here, this is our range, right? So everything in here we consider internal range liquidity. This red line coming across here is our 50% uh, marker. Anything above is in premium, anything below is in discount. Right? So the idea is that we move from internal range liquidity to external range liquidity back into internal range liquidity. That is the general premise um, of this uh, theory. Okay, so what I'm going to show you and how it's working here is that we frame this high which would be the daily low and then we come into this um, high here created before seven o'clock which is this one at five o'clock okay so this is our framing of our uh, internal liquidity so between seven and nine sometimes you get a, a what ICT a, they call us a stop sweep uh, before seven and nine o'clock and this can happen sometimes before uh, mm, if we have sort of like um, of medium impact news um, sometimes we see this sort of phenomenon playing out okay so uh, we do see this sort of sweep below this um, swing low and then we we trace back into the equilibrium of our range okay and we um, so as we're reaching equilibrium here, what time are we doing it? Eight o'clock going into half past eight. So this, so as we tag internal range liquidity reaching an equilibrium, okay, just coming on about half past eight, just before a news release and um, the markets open in New York. Uh, so this is going to start framing uh, our, our our trade idea, right? Because uh, well, so we're in a uptrend, we're in this uptrend, confirming the uptrend. Right, so um, coming into New York Open, um, we identify an optimal trade entry within this area, and um, price trends upwards. So because we've now tagged internal range liquidity, what's likely to happen? The macro kicks in and sends us higher. All right, reaching for the uh, ex external range liquidity, and. Um, Okay, so, and we are also targeting the uh, lowest resistance external range liquidity. The way we determine lowest resistance uh, is essentially by uh, the are biased. So if our bias is bullish, uh, the lowest resistance is above us. Right, because price is more likely to, to, to trend upwards, therefore more likely to tag that uh, buy side liquidity. Okay, um, another important um, aspect uh, or or reason we can't so we sort of come up here is uh, because we're also targeting targeting um, so this is a key level because it's coming in here these relative equal highs okay so we are sort of targeting all the buy side above that okay righty so come and take the buy side liquidity all right and then into the afternoon uh, lunchtime period where we trace. So this is um, something that often happens quite often um, during lunchtime, one to uh, say 12 to one o'clock or half past one. 
can find if uh, you've been trending in the morning you can often have a retracement um, all right so um, because the day is bullish um, I actually expected a bit higher prices into the afternoon session the way that my afternoon session is um, I started at uh, 1445 because I often find at uh, half past four or excuse me half past two you have some sort of uh, fake move and um, 1445s normally going to be on the right side of the trend if you enter there so some what I sometimes would expect here is um, <clears throat> is I would actually expect higher prices into the afternoon if particularly we if the swing low made within New York if we made a swing low within New York kill zone and if that swing low is not uh, the low of the day um, I classify that as um, continuation of a bullish market structure so I do expect higher price into the afternoon and, and um, a lot of the times it does happen um, I'm talking until four o'clock right after four o'clock then all bets are off um, you must uh, have a look at the market again right um, in this case we didn't see it um, I guess which makes sense because we already targeted uh, a significant high and a significant uh, pool of buy-side liquidity, right? So we had already um, tapped that uh, liquidity. So how likely were we to continue to go higher? Well, I guess it was very much um, unlikely at this point. So um, with that in mind, we do make our way down. And this is the nice thing about uh, Bitcoin, is that it's quite, Bitcoin follows technical analysis and technical rules better than most other sort of instruments. Um, we can have a look here. Price con comes down, sweeps the sell side on um, on the swing low. All right, uh, we retrace back upwards into the VWAP, and we um, sort of uh, I guess support and resistance sort of thing, but we target the swing low price retraces once again um, targets a fair value gap between here right, so that fair value gap is targeted after right, the fair, fair value gap make a way back up I think I think it's on a three minute let's have a look yep so on the three minute we come back into that fair value gap follow it up and we um, make our way down we do make our way down to well we target now the swing low so the nice thing about this setup is uh, i consider this uh, sort of a high probability scalp setup is that if we come down and we break a swing low and if we have a fair value gap and this one is on the five minute i'll go back to the five minute yeah you see this fair value gap here the drawn out in time this fair value gap is below a swing low now this for me, I consider this a really high probability um, trade setup, at least for a, for a scalp. So we come in, fill up the fair value gap. I remember we don't always have to fill the fair value gap, but in this case we do. Fill it up and we do get a um, do get a reaction of that. Um, let's have a look here. Cool. So, I mean. Can have a look here we we're running the south side and uh, not really reeling but this still might see this this will be quite bullish if we do manage to break up here and we hold this as um, support so if we do something like that it'd be interesting because then this this would be confirmed this as a breaker uh, so this would be a breaker block right if it comes down like this and this is also another um, trade setup or concept that ICT teaches. Um, right, but if we don't do that, uh, where do we look down towards? Well, uh, this will be the external uh, liquidity, right? Because this was the, uh, this is the low of the day. Um, so we could be looking to target that, which would make sense because we move from internal to external to internal. And we can look to go to external again and then maybe back into internal. Um, I like this area at the bottom here as a pool for liquidity. 
uh, I think we've got a lot of resting orders. Load the swing low, you know, relative equal lows. What I think might happen is um, we just blast right through them and actually target uh, these resting orders we target their um we target their sell stops use that pool of liquidity and uh, maybe go up right um looks like price wants to go that way that's fine okay so um it's more or less just sort of wanted to talk about so just to recap uh we were in this range extending here till five o'clock and from the low of the of the day of the morning not overnight low <clears throat> and then uh um, let's say london sessions uh london session kill zone high right so we had that as our range and we're expecting to continue the bullish trend which we did on the back of some rather bullish news i suppose although i don't really subscribe to the idea that um, the stock market is informationally efficient. Uh, there's a lot of literature on that. I that is not something personally I believe in. Um, yes, so essentially that's all I want to show for today. And if anyone has any questions about this, um, yep, yeah, you can let me know in the comment section and I'll be happy to elaborate on anything else that people might um, want to know about. And anyway, everyone have a good day. Bye-bye.